Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to autotalk.com. I am Christian Mo. We're gonna do another little interview and talk about a car. This time we have the all new Nissan Armada. And I have Robin here to tell us all about it. So, go ahead and tell me some of the big changes that are coming to the Armada for 2017 that make this vehicle much better and different than the old one. It's all new for 2017. So we've updated everything on this vehicle to reflect um, the Nissan Patrol, the global Nissan Patrol model. So it's got the, um, the underpinnings are similar to its sister vehicle, the QX80, the Infiniti QX80, but the upper body is the Nissan Patrol that's been homologated for the US market. So you said it's got some new underpinnings on it. Are any of those bits related to the new under bits that are on the Nissan Titan? So the powertrain. So the gas engine that you're going to have on the Titan and the Titan XD will be the exact same that's going to be in this model. Okay, so we have big new V8s to go in, inside of this thing. What transmission are we using? It is a seven-speed transmission. All right, do we have tow ratings on what this thing will be able to pull? 8,500 pounds. 8,500 pounds is pretty substantial. Uh, do we have any in information on what sort of options are going to be offered? Uh, how many trim, trim levels, all-wheel we'll drive? Yep, yeah, we'll with four-wheel drive, we have three trim levels, SV, SL, and Platinum. It is a seven or eight passenger vehicle. So on top of the Platinum trim, you can get the captain's chair, so it'll have a second row um, center console. Okay, um, is it four-wheel drive on every model, or is there going to be a two-wheel drive model There also? is a two-wheel drive model. Um, it comes standard with navigation and a lot of soft touch features and uh, our safety suites available as well. So we have a Nissan safety shield, so we'll have um, blind spot intervention, which actually corrects any lane departure that you might be having and it breaks on one side so that it'll gently bring you back to the center of the travel lane. We have preventative uh, forward collision warning, which will actually see two vehicles in front of you and predict what that vehicle is going to be doing, so actually stop you before you ran the person in front of you, and then backup intervention as well. So that will actually stop a vehicle from, you know, backing into something. It's so not just warning you that it's there, but also making sure the vehicle stops. So this is now based on the Nissan Patrol, but you also said sister vehicle QX80. Uh, when this was launched, or uh, announced yesterday, Nissan made a big deal about new luxury features. So how much more luxurious is this, and do you think that's going to cause people to question buying the QX80? I can't really talk about the Infiniti portion because it's a completely different consumer. Really the luxury buyer is looking more of the experience of overall owning an Infiniti or a luxury brand. The Nissan buyer is more mainstream, we're looking at the more adventure and the family ready vehicle. Um, it does share a lot of those similar bits from the Infiniti, uh, so that interior luxury is definitely there. And it's also library quiet inside, the NVH and the handling on it are superb. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget, you can go to autotalk.com to catch all the news, videos, reviews, and anything else you want from Chicago Auto Show, from the LA Auto Show, and from everything else. We'll see you guys next time.